Alright, welcome back. Um, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, stop the items from colliding each other. So for example, if we have a three belts, three belts like this, right? Oh, go back, go back. There you go. Right? And we have an object right there, moving to the right direction. And that's it. This is empty. And we have a bell there. And it's going now. And we have a bell right there. Hey, not bell. Item right there. Um, moving to the same direction. Okay. Uh, originally, everything will be stacked like this, and then another one once it's go there, it is going to be stacked and stacked. Okay, we don't want that. What we want, what we want, we want it to stop at a at an appropriate uh, distance. So, for example, here, maybe go out like that, and then we want it like that, and then like that. So, how does how it's gonna work? Basically, based on on the um, the direction of the items is going, we want to we want to check. So, for example, here we're going to right direction. We check the up. We only check the optical by recast, not recasting, uh, correction casting to the right. Here from here another example. So a bell right there. This bell is going to the right and the object is on there. We want to cast before we move we want to cast a correction detector right there to determine if there is any uh, object in front of it. So there and then it's going to the right and we check there. Okay. Now, when you get close to each other, this would be the result. So, this would be the result. Uh, should be eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Right. If it stop in the center here, this would check here in front of it, and then here the second one would check for any correction. So it if it detects that object, it will stop. Okay, the same for going down, up, and right, and other belt, right. So I'll give you one more, uh, one more example here. So again, if it stop here, another object would be here, and it would be stopped too. Because we cast the uh, correction detector right there. Okay, you get the idea, right? Okay, now on to the implementation. So this is what we'll be uh, um, implementing. Um, here we go. So as you can see, well, I mean not uh, yeah. There you go. Well, as you can see, the object stop based on the correction. So let's put it back, bring back there, right? Uh, pull back, there you go, bring back there, right there. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's jump into the code. Um, right. So what we changed from the last video, we basically so open oh, this, create all of that in the item behavior script. We add the the oh, we already have speed the direction, so item direction basically is a enum which is gonna contain up left right and down which we're gonna use it for to identify on which direction the objects hit the items going to, so left right up or down, and then stop the stop flag 
will just uh, check uh, if the object should be started or not. The path will be the 2D uh, bound of that, so that thing. So the bound will be the size of that. And yep, here we have the check items creation would be executed every time we move. So move left, down, left, right, we can check it before we move. Inside here, we have the bound, which would be updated every frame or every movement. The crider will be used to uh, retrieve all the uh, overlap box. Right? The offset will be just a value that how far the uh, the point gonna be. So here, point in the side. Let's go into here. The point is where the where we're gonna check the uh, any correlation. So right for this uh, object here, we would point it. We would set the point right right there. So right direction. So right now we are on the right belt. So it's moving to the right direction. We would be set the point there and the size. The size would be how big the box is gonna be. So up there, like that. Then the right direction. The size is zero point zero one. So it's a very small box. And the y would be the half. So like that. Yeah, the same concept applies to the to the uh, bottom uh, to the uh, down direction, up direction. Okay, and that too. Oh, it, it, yeah, it depends on the direction. So going down and then left. Cool. All right, the same thing, just different size and point based on the uh, direction is heading. The same thing. All right, it should be simple enough. And here uh, we would okay if we find any cor uh, correction in front of the object, or the, uh, yeah, we just set the, the stop flag to true and then just return it. And if none of these are not uh, true, we, you just keep moving. So here, move left or any move. Should the item be stopped? It? If if it's the flag is, is stopped, you just return that, which just gonna stop the object. And then if not, we just keep moving. Move right, the same thing. Move the move up. Quite simple enough, right? Um, check creation. Is it? You know, if there are any other items in front of it? No. Go do that. Okay. Yep. And each bell. So we set the direction of its head. So here again, um, the direction of the bottom left bell. So here, remember, we have to move it to the center point. So the direction is still into the left. So that would be that. We set the direction to the left. And here, after it reached the origin, we're going up. So we set the direction to up. Right, the same for here. Down. Where was that? Uh, bottom right. So going down and left. Down and left. The same here. Right and down. Uh, top right. Right. Down. Here. Left. Uh, top left. Uh, where is it? Here you go. Up and right. So up, right. So up, right, right, down, down, left, left, up. And maybe run it again, maybe the same. Pretty cool. Um, uh, that is a bug. It's not hard. It's, I believe it just get cut out of the, of the, uh, out of the box. Should be fine, I mean, I'm not sure what happened there, but everything should be working as we expected. Here, yeah, let's get this out, and then, yeah, okay, so, the nice thing about this is that we can, um, you know, we can just, we, we can change the size and it still be working. So here, we just change to 0.75. We'll make sure it's still in the box, uh, the, uh, <laughs> The the bell though. If not, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna just gonna stop. And that is a bug. Which you 
won't be called, called fixing today, but or in the future video. But but usually you do not stack an object like that, so we expect it to not. Yeah, everything should be checked before getting stuck like that. But I believe the bug is when you try checking the front. It got the other object too. So say here the size may be too big, and then it got that object. So here like that. It will be stuck us here. We check the object, and then before we show you, just set the fact is false. But that can be fixed easily. Just change the size of the box and make sure the point is still um to the left more. That doesn't correlate with that. But usually, in general case, you do not want to overlap the box like that. It's gonna be like that. Yep, it's working perfectly. I love it. Uh, let's pull it out, yay! Going back, yay, cool. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you like, or if you find anything that I talk about is useful, please support me on my website, uh, agitwiki.com. Um, become a membership for 5 bucks a month uh, to help support my channel and my future project. Um, right now my website is not that great, but if there are uh, more people going there, then I'll probably be updating my website just to add more features and uh, make the membership plan more somewhat uh, useful and fun for you to use. But anyways, uh, if you like and want to see any more videos, please subscribe and give a like. And yeah, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.